Hey, what's up? Fizz out here. Uh, it is the Friday before Halloween, uh, so just want to uh, uh, begin this video by wishing everyone a very happy and safe Halloween. Um, want to talk about the new DVD release of Night of the Creeps. Um, great film, horrible cover, um, just wow, shockingly bad cover, but uh, we'll move past that and talk about the film. Um, it is a self-described stew, um, a sort of blending of, of all of writer-director Fred Decker's favorite sort of B-movie uh, cliches, you know, you've got zombies, you've got aliens, you've got creepy crawlies, um, you know, you've got the uh, uh, the geek and his sidekick, the lovelorn geek and his uh, sidekick, you've got the, 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 you know, the hardcore, uh, you know, burned out, uh, grizzled cop. Uh, he put all these elements together and he hit puree and what we got out of it was this great film. Um, completely overlooked in its time. Uh, found its audience <clears throat> on video, on TV, uh, which is how I came to know the film. Um, you know, another one, you know, another movie that I can thank USA Up All Night for introducing me to. I uh, saw the film literally a dozen times on TV. Um, or more. Love the movie. <clears throat> I'd always been a big fan of it. Um, and finally, we, we you know we, we've got a proper DVD release. You can throw away those bootlegs. You can throw away those you know tired old worn out VHS copies. We well, don't throw those away. Actually, keep those. They're sentimental, I'm sure. Um, but definitely, you can throw away those grainy old bootlegs and, DV and VHS rips that you've got. Um, the film looks great. Um, it's very clear. Um, I think on the the, the commentary with the, uh, Fred Decker and, and uh, Michael Slipcase Felshi, they you know Fred Decker just mentions you know I've, I I just see so many new things in this transfer that I, I you know I, I never saw on you know the VHS of the movie or things that I don't even remember seeing you know when I saw the movie on film or when I was recording it, it's just so clear, and it is, it's, 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 it looks amazing. Um, what we, what we really want to talk about are the special features. Of course, as I said, Michael Slipcase Felcher is involved, Richard Pictures, um, he collaborated with Fred Decker on the, uh, Monster Squad DVD, which is a DVD that I hold up at the highest standard. When I think of special features on a DVD, I think of that Monster Squad, documentary on there um, which is a it, it's a great documentary but it, it's kind of you know it's very difficult to hold other DVD special features up to that kind of standard because a lot of them are going to fall flat um, I said in my previous video that uh, if the special features on this disc are half as good as the ones on the Monster Squad it will be great um, I'll say they are uh, about they're, 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 they're more than half as good so they're pretty good. Uh, what we have is um, a uh, birth of the creeps. Um, uh, well, it's a it, it's a multi-part documentary on the making of the film. Uh, the birth of the creeps, casting the creeps, creating the creeps, escape of the creeps, legend of the creeps. Basically, it documents the inception of the film, um, pre-production filming post-production, how the film just sort of, you know, never found a, uh, its audience until video and, and, and TV. Um, really cool stuff on that documentary if you're a fan of the film, which if you're watching this, I'm assuming you are. Great stuff. Um, interviews with, of course, Fred Decker, Tom Atkins, the stars of the film, the special effects people, the editor, the producer. Really informative, really in-depth. Everything you'd want to know about this film, they talk about. Um, the, the the part casting the creeps with the three leads, really great. You, 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 if, if you've seen the film, you can tell that there was a lot of camaraderie, especially between the two male leads. Um, and uh, played by Jason Lively and uh, Steve Marshall. Um, 
you can tell that that still remains. And also the Jill Whitlow who played the, the love interest, you know, you can tell that there's a lot of affection still between those three, um, which was very cool. Of course, Tom Atkins is there, uh, just playing it cool as always. Great, great, great featurette, definitely cool. Uh, then we have a very cool uh, feature called Tom Atkins, Man of Action. A very cool uh, just interview with Tom Atkins about his career, how he got into the business, you know, different films he worked on. Um, you know, if you know, he's just he's just the coolest guy. Uh, very good actor. Uh, been in a lot of great flicks. He talks about all of them. Uh, very cool stuff on that feature. Um, so not only if you're a fan of Night of the Creeps do you need to pick this up, but if you're just a fan of Tom Atkins in general, um, you need to pick this up too because that's a great feature. Um, I shoot commentary tracks. Um, uh, commentary with Fred Decker and Michael Slipcase Felcher. I listened to that. Very cool stuff on that uh, commentary. Uh, a lot of inside info about Fred Decker. It's not necessarily spe uh, scene specific, which I always appreciate in uh, commentaries. They talk about a lot of stuff. Um, very cool. I, I haven't actually sat down and listened to the cast commentary, which, like I said, you know, those three together in a room with Slippy, I'm assuming. Um, talking about the film, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. I'm going to check that out, but I just haven't checked it out yet. Um, we also have the, uh, the original theatrical trailer, or I'm sorry, the original theatrical ending. This is the director's cut of the film. The original theatrical ending was not the ending that I grew up with, watching the movie on TV. I always saw the alternative ending, and if you grew up with this film on TV, you saw the alternative ending, the ending where uh, you see the creeped Tom Atkins character walking along after he's been burned up. He falls over, his head explodes, the creeps go into the graveyard. Then, you know, the lights come on and the ship from the beginning of the film comes in. That was not the theatrical ending, but that was the only ending I knew until recently when I saw the film again for the first time in a very long time on FearNet, and I saw the ending with the dog, and I was just like, whoa, what was, what was that? That was my first reaction. My second reaction was, that's horrible. Um, terrible ending. Um, they talk about that, uh, of course, in the commentary, in the making of featurette. But that was interesting. Um, of course, that was the ending. Uh, that was the only ending I knew to the film until recently. Uh, the theatrical ending, really bad. Um, now, we've also got a trivia track. Um, uh, trailers, deleted scenes, uh, all sorts of stuff on here. The bottom line is, if you're a fan of this film and you've waited so long for this to come out on DVD, you need to pick it up. Um, the same level of reference and um, love that was put into the Monster Squad DVD by uh, Slippy is put into this uh, DVD. So definitely, you need to go out and pick this up and watch this on Halloween night. Um, Wow, it's a bad cover. Jeez Louise, it's horrible. Um, I just I just don't know what to say about that. Boy, uh, great film, great DVD, great special features. Go buy it immediately. Uh, so until next time... My, my gosh, that's awful. Jeez Louise. Ugh.